our coverage with a free account on privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Hi, my name's Danielle. I'm with Plug Hates Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I'm here at CES 2023, and I'm currently at the Luxonis booth. Hi, can you please introduce yourself for me? Yeah, my name is Tony Razavong, and I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Luxonis. Okay. Can you please describe to me what you guys have going on at CES 2023? Yeah, so we're showing off our new cameras, um, especially the Oak DSR and the LR, which is the long range. But here in my hand, we have the Oak D uh, Pro which has two stereo depth cameras and one RGB 4K camera inside. So a lot of the cameras out there are 2D, you see things in 2D, but we have spatial AI, which sees things in 3D dimension. So that's what we're doing. And you can augment robotics with our cameras. So when you're talking about um, like a 3D space, being able to recognize things in a 3D space, um, what kind of things is that used for and like how does that actually work? Yeah, for, for example, right now we have an example here behind us where it's recognizing human people in a 3D space. So you actually see the X, Y, Z coordinates and Z is where the distance you are from the camera. So this is the camera we have back here that's showcasing um, where you are in relation to that camera specifically. Right. Okay, I also see on this monitor that there are kind of different colors going on. What does that kind of look for? So the color is actually not for thermal. People kind of right. see that as thermal. That yeah. So it's more so distance of where it is. Okay. Of, that's what we have here as in this particular example. But we can use that for multiple things as well. Okay. What is the type of range on that spatial distance? So we have the short range where you can see things in like 50 centimeter, or you have stuff that's about maybe 200 plus yards in our long range cameras. Okay, so um, how exactly would you plug and play these devices into like the real world? So like, how would you install it, quote unquote install it? And um, also like, what kind of things would it be used for? Like, where would you see this in the real world? Yeah, for sure. So our products, it comes with the depth AI software that has multiple pre-trained models that are currently running in the product. So object detection, um, multiple other things, right? So that's where you can plug and play with anything that you're looking for. So anywhere you can see that needs human-like perception can be use our products. And so I noticed that it will, I mean, I walked by it earlier, it recognized my bag, it said it was a handbag. Um, how would I add more recognition on like, what if I wanted to recognize my shoes or what if I wanted to recognize a camera? So if someone comes by with a camera, like recording something they're not supposed to, um, how would I like try to incorporate that into the AI? Yeah, for sure. So more so simple things that are pre-trained. It works with any uh, third-party pre-trained models like YOLO, V5, YOLO, all that stuff. But if it's more complex, we can definitely train it through machine learning that can teach uh, the product and the cameras to recognize anything. Like maybe in guns, knives, right. for stressful situations, for safety. Right. Correct. So. Okay. So what sorts of um, areas would we see these in? So um, what sorts of demographics would we be targeting here? So we're in multiple uh, verticals, agriculture, healthcare, retail, manufacturing, a lot of these different things. Um, but you can go to our website, you can see a lot of use cases available. And you can also look at our blogs that we've posted on our website. So I've noticed when I came up, we were talking a bit about um, you know, the healthcare. Can you go into a little bit more in depth of like how exactly uh, this would work in a healthcare setting? Yeah, for sure. So we have a use case on our website now um, where uh, it's Neil, Neil Cam, which is uh, looking at uh, infants. And you can see where infants are stressful uh, and the cameras can actually point that out and send an alert to a nurse. So instead of uh, having nurse st uh, staffed at these hospitals, like maybe 10 to 20 nurse for 10 to 20 infants, you can have maybe just one nurse monitoring all these cameras uh, and then you can work efficient, efficiently by sending one nurse into that uh, room where that specific infant that has that stressful or if they have an irregular heartbeat, so. So irregular heartbeat, so how would it detect that? So it, it can see the heart rate based on the, the chest moving, the movement, yep. And so you also mentioned like it can detect if you're stressed. So if a, an infant or any person is stressed or, you know, not stressed, um, how would it do that? 
So looking at your face, so you can facial facial recognition, so you can see your face if you're happy or not. So a lot of retail, actually retail that we're we're working with there, where you're walking in and they want a user experience for a great user experience for shoppers. If you're coming in there stressed, they might maybe change their environment to to help make the store more inviting and more happy. So. That's an example there. Yeah, I can see a ton of use cases for this, right. and I mean, I know you've mentioned yeah. there's a lot on your website, um, but I can see it working for safety, obviously healthcare, um, and you were also talking about the manufacturing uh, facilities as well as like lawn care and stuff. Can you go into a little bit about that? Yeah, so we're working with Greensy actually with autonomous lawnmowers, so you can train our products as just uh, train the lawnmower to actually just cut the grass. And you can actually see just the great uh, the green grass, and that's where you want to cut. It can go around anything else, like sprinkler heads, trees, dirt. You can have it trained to go around those items. Right. So it's not just object detection; it can be like object avoidance. Right? Uh, object avoidance uh, using semantic segmentation. What are some other features that we might not have been mentioned that uh, you would like the viewers to know? So. The best part about our cameras is that it has onboard AI and CV built in. We're not just a stereo depth camera. The AI and CV is built and it's processed through our cameras. Is this currently available on the market? It is currently available right now. What are the price points on all of your devices that you have here at CES? So it starts at $199 and our highest camera that we're coming out with is $799. So it, it really caters to what your budget is. And you mentioned something coming out. When, when will we be expecting something new from you guys? So our LR, Oak D LR camera will be out um, by the mid part of this year. So if our viewers wanted to find out more information about you guys, where can they go and how can they find out more? So they can go to our website, www.luxonis.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. For continuing CES 2023 coverage, stay tuned to pluckitslive.com slash CES.